Welcome to Stock Invest YouTube channel and this stock report for Funware. The report was first published on our website Friday, October 14, 2022, but this is a more detailed version. Our aim is to help you answer the question, should I buy or sell Funware? In this video, you will get insight into the technical and fundamental situation and future price predictions. Please remember to subscribe, hit like and notification bell so you will be first to know when we post a new updated video. Since September 21, 2022, our system ranks the Funware stock as a sell candidate, giving it a score of minus 5.086. In this period the stock has had a loss of minus 16.28%. This is an average return of minus 0.90% per day since first recommended. In our daily updates for Funware our last headline reads, Volatile ride for Funware Incorporated stock price on Friday moving between $1.05 and $1.18. The Funware Incorporated stock price fell by minus 7.69% on the last day, Friday, October 14, 2022, from $1.17 to $1.08. During the last trading day the stock fluctuated 12.38% from a day low at $1.05 to a day high of $1.18. The price has been going up and down for this period, and there has been a minus 8.47% loss for the last two weeks. Volume fell on the last day along with the stock, which is actually a good sign as volume should follow the stock. On the last day, the trading volume fell by minus 6 million shares and in total, 3 million shares were bought and sold for approximately $2.79 million. In the last 52 weeks, the highest price of the stock was $24.04 and the lowest price was 93 cents. Right now the price is 95.51%, or $22.96, below 52-week high and 99.8%, or $548.92, below all-time high January 10, 2019 where the price hit $550. The stock lies in the lower of a very wide and falling trend in the short term, and this may normally pose a very good buying opportunity. If the lower trend floor at 99 cents is broken, it will firstly indicate a stronger fall rate. The current 3-month trend indicates a possible minus 18.04% change over the next 3 months, with a possible return between minus 25.08% and 30.52%. The 12-month trend it indicates a minus 32.15% change over the next 12 months with a possible return between minus 100% and 274.99%. This equals a price between $0 and $4.05 after a year. Analyst Ratings and Price Targets From analysts Funware stock received a general neutral rating. The analysts give P.E. ratio a strong buy and price to book a strong buy rating. For the return on investment the analysts give the Funware stock and sell rating. In this section we will give you some information about signals found for Funware. We will start with the general picture before we move on some of the most famous indicators and signals that will give you a deeper and better understanding of the trading possibilities in the stock. There are mixed signals in the stock today. The Funware Incorporated stock holds sell signals from both short and long-term moving averages giving a more negative forecast for the stock. Also, there is a general sell signal from the relation between the two signals where the long-term average is above the short-term average. On corrections up, there will be some resistance from the lines at $1.15 and $1.33. A breakup above any of these levels will issue by signals. Volume fell together with the price during the last trading day and this reduces the overall risk as volume should follow the price movements. A buy signal was issued from a pivot bottom point on Monday, September 26, 2022, and so far it has risen 0.93%. Further rise is indicated until a new top pivot has been found. Furthermore, there is a buy signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence MACD. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence holds a buy signal. Pivots gave a buy signal 15 days ago. Bollinger gave a buy signal 87 days ago. 
The short-term moving average for the three-month chart gave a sell signal seven days ago. The long-term moving average for the three-month chart gave a sell signal 19 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages in the three-month chart gave a buy signal 16 days ago. If we look at the 12-month chart we see, short moving average gave a buy signal 8 days ago. The long-term moving average gave a sell signal 19 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages gave a buy signal 12 days ago. Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Support, Risk and Stop Loss for Funware Funware Incorporated find support from accumulated volume at $1.07 and this level may hold a buying opportunity as an upwards reaction can be expected when the support is being tested. This stock may move very much during the day, volatility, and with a very large prediction interval from the Bollinger Band this stock is considered to be very high risk. During the last day, the stock moved 13 cents between high and low, or 12.38%. For the last week, the stock has had daily average volatility of 10.33%. Next upcoming earnings report for Q3 2022 is expect to be released NOV 09, 2022. The consensus among the analysts are dash $0.0700. Here are some possible good day trading levels. On an upturn, Funware meets first resistance at $1.17. If you do not hold Funware shares you should wait for this level to be broken before placing your bet. If you already have the stock this is the level you may want to swing trade. On a downturn Funware finds first level of support at $1.07 and this is a natural place to put your bet if the support holds with an expectation of a rebounce upwards. In the table we have listed other potential swing trading levels based on the, the famous Fibonacci model. The average ratings combined from several analyst sources for Funware is neutral. Here are some of the latest insider trades. On September 28, 2022 Lull Matthew K. made an inside buy of 500,000 of common stock. On September 16, 2022 Olive Christopher D. made an inside buy of 500,000 of common stock. On September 15, 2022 Costello Ryan made an inside sell of 20,000 of common stock. On August 19, 2022 on Matt made an inside sell of 12,719 of common stock. On August 19, 2022 Crowder Randall made an inside sell of 14,344 of common stock. Based on the 100 latest insides trades, we have calculated the insider power to be positive at a ratio of 46.522. In total, the insiders bought 4,532,175 and sold 1,090,281 shares in the last 100 trades. We hold a negative evaluation for this stock, no stop loss set. Is Funware stock a buy? Funware Incorporated holds several negative signals and we believe that it will still perform weekly in the next couple of days or weeks. We, therefore, hold a negative evaluation of this stock. Due to some small weaknesses in the technical picture we have downgraded our analysis conclusion for this stock since the last evaluation from a sell to a strong sell candidate. After analyzing the volatility and movements for the last trading day our systems find that the current price is undervalued. For the trading on Monday 17th we expect Funware to open up $0.0233 and start trading at $1.10. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money, and that you should speak with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. You should not base your investment decision upon stockinvest.us. By using the information you agree and are held liable for your own investment decisions. That's the end of this video, thanks for watching. And remember to subscribe to the channel to get all the latest videos and updates.